What up, what up, what up, ladies and gents? You're rocking with Mr. Harris here. Another beautiful day. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. So, this video here is going to be about marijuana, well, <laughs> New York City legalizing marijuana. And I just saw a video or article that stated that Virginia is also now legalizing recreational marijuana. Now, I find this to be the biggest slap in the face. Well, let me let me say before I even go into that. As a realtor here in New York City, a lot of times uh, certain type of um, events, uh, networking events, or or even classes will come up where, as a realtor, I can be a part of these things to learn and, and, and be a part of just different things that come up. Specifically, what I'm referring to is the fact that yesterday there was a it was a class or, or some type of virtual seminar where they were speaking on they were speaking on cannabis coming to New York City and one of the guys who was who was basically speaking on the cannabis mar uh, the cannabis industry coming into New York City he was talking about he's basically talking about uh, marijuana coming to New York City my apologies I'm driving and I'm thinking about other things at the same time my apologies let me get focused so he was talking about the requirement was what stuck out to me specifically was him talking about the requirements to get into the business to make things happen regarding cannabis coming into the industry i mean coming into the city and what stood out to me which is what stood out to me before was the fact that regular normal people specifically your everyday african americans who have been involved in smoking or or selling or whatever the case may be in this industry for many years here of course illegally most of every African American is going to be locked out of that industry unless you're tied to someone who has huge capital to invest in the marijuana industry and basically because he was stating it's a highly regulated industry which means that there's going to be a whole bunch of money a whole bunch of things that are going to need to be done with with attorneys lawyers accountants as well as getting registered with the city to be able to get into the marijuana industry and be able to make a profit in some way shape or form and again that just means that a lot of individuals on on a on a basic economic level, socioeconomic level, will not be able to get into the industry. Uh, at the same time, I also laughed because he stated that the focus is going to be serving underserved communities, which basically means that the products are going to mainly be pushed in urbanized, low income facilities. He didn't say low income, but there's a certain type of vocabulary and language that when used among people with money, you understand what they're saying. They're saying black and Latino neighborhoods. That's who the money, that's who the products are going to be uh, pitched to the most. The, bro the blacks and Latino community. And I laugh. To me, the legalization of marijuana is the is one of the biggest slaps and is one of the biggest slaps in the face to black people especially black men okay because it's mainly black men that have been getting locked up for the last 5 10 20 years here in New York City and other cities for smoking marijuana and selling marijuana i understand it's elite it's illegal and all that, that stuff i'm just saying that where things are coming at now it is the biggest slap in the face to black men Because they've been locking us up for for marijuana. Me personally, and I'll touch touch about it in another video. 
I smoked weed for numerous years. And it was recently that I said, I'm good, I'm done, and I'm not going back to that. And I always said to myself years ago, I said, when they officially start legalizing marijuana, I am done with it. And I said I was done with it because I understand that it's not for the betterment. It's not for pain. It's, it's really for the city to collect its taxes, to put their hands into, let's see how we can make this money off of the people. And then they don't allow your everyday people to get involved. They lock and push them out. They push us out. Now, don't get me wrong. The cannabis industry is gonna be big for commercial property, for, for, for finding investors. I know darn well that I can go out here and I can network with other companies that are, that are uh, maybe in Colorado or Wisconsin or California and let them know, hey, opportunities here in New York City. It's gonna be big. I just think that, honestly, at the end of the day, as African Americans, as Latinos, should don't smoke weed and i'm not here to tell you what to do or what not to do i'm saying that at the end of the day i don't trust the system i believe that overall they're legalizing weed because they want everybody to be passive they want everybody to be dumbed down they want people to not be on top of their game on top of life on top of the different things that they're going to be implementing in society because I don't care what you tell me. I know for a fact that marijuana, marijuana, weed, leaves you in the weeds. It dumbs you down. It takes away ambition. It takes away having that focus and that mental clarity that's needed to go forward and succeed on a daily basis. And I know that for a fact because I've done it for years. So nobody can tell me nothing. And I know there's gonna be plenty of people that Oh, it helps you think. Don't get me wrong. I believe that marijuana, especially in my younger years, kind of opened me up mentally. But at the same time, the problem is that it can easily become something that helps you try to escape from the reality of life. If you don't know how to really keep it in its proper place and even me getting off weed I did a lot of research on it you're as best as a young person from the age of like 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 even maybe 22 23 to not be involved in smoking marijuana just because your mind is still formulating it's still developing your brain is still formulating and your brain is gonna keep developing and formulating until you hit about 26, 27. These are the years that you don't need to be smoking weed. These are the years that if you do, you're more likely to have it as a habit forming uh, 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 hindrance in your life. So that's just my perception on it. I do not support the legalization of marijuana because I understand that they're gonna pitch their products mainly to blacks and Latinos who's going to keep them further in the dirt and at the end, at the same time it will not provide the opportunities at a higher economic level to uplift our people we're going to be the ones that's mainly going to be smoking but we're not going to be the ones mainly making off making the money off of it I don't agree with that so that's my stance on it let me know your thoughts and opinions it is what it is I say put the blunt put the blunt down, stay away from it, let's keep it moving, and keep creating a better life for ourselves on a daily basis. Thank you for tuning in. You're rocking with Mr. Harris. I ask that you uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and thank you for tuning in with me. Later.